this door was not open, so now it is. This leads to the final Yarhargul section. This area sucks. There's a lot of bullshit. Okay, so uh, our box buddies, or whatever these things are, that's their other attack. They can spit blood from really far away. The ones back there weren't doing it, but these guys do. They love it. They're super into it. So I need to get upstairs and get away from them. Ooh, that was close. And I think they even try to... Yeah, that <laughs> went right by my head. They even try to get you up here. They are bastards. Twins. Okay, maybe those guys don't drop chunks. Maybe I was imagining that. Let's see what do we got in here. A dark building. Turn this back on. I think there's another wolfy boy. This guy shoot the post. All right, if I'm calm and quiet, I can backstab this bro. Got a big leg sticking out of his ass. Wins, and you are guarding a tempering damp blood gym. That goes back out to the street, which I don't want. Let's go over here. Take care of the high area. There's our, uh, our bath. This is where I got teleported to. So you can kind of bypass some stuff by using it. Okay, I need to take care of you first. <laughs> How am I missing? What the fuck? Oh, bloodborne in your angle sometime. Not great. Okay, that's a ladder. Which goes back down to street level, I guess. Kinda wanna take care of these guys and clean up any items that might be tucked away in corners over there. Heal up to be safe. It's the building I went into. Let's backtrack. Oh, you came back. See, there's this item that I missed. This is cold blood. By me. Luckily, their shot is like super precise in terms of like it goes exactly where you are when they shoot it. So, as long as you're moving a little bit, <laughs> it will probably miss you. led you all the way out into the past area. There's still that one I did a punch damage to them. This one on the right, I think. Jesus Christ, that's close. That's bullshit. That blood attack came from through him. This guy just shot it right through his friend, took it right through his body. 
You're not the only one with projectiles, motherfucker. I think this is the building where I killed Poochie. I think it is anyway. Yeah. See if there's anything hidden down here. All right, there's this one item. Okay, so another one of our flaming bros, Arcane Lake. Might be a variant I already have. Sure is. It's the better one. Reese's Arcane Defense. Hope there's something over here. Otherwise, why make it? Here we go. Now, oh, just madman's knowledge. There's another one on that side. That should be the same thing. That does it for your heart ghoul. We cleared out the entire thing. Because that's the boss arena. Oh, I know what that weapon is. Good job, buddy. I heal up to be safe. Hopefully won't need it. Oh, that cloud texture doesn't look great. Space. Hunter's like, wow, this is gross. Look at this big loser. We're essentially fighting Bloodborne's cat dog. This thing has like two ends of it that are both heads. Also, this is a big homage fight to... God, what is its name? Ah, oh, fuck, it hit me. To Tower Knight? I can't remember his name. There's a Demon Souls boss that works exactly like this. Where the fuck is it? Okay, I might be better off going to the other side. Just ignore the boss. I can find the... Damn entrance. Caught on pots. Here, here we go. No, there we go. There are the stairs. All right, so we got women ringing bells up here, so let's take care of them. Don't fall. I don't know how that didn't count as a hit. Silver bullets. There's whatever this is. More quick silver bullets. That's a set item too. That's just there for some reason. I hope that one I knocked off died. Maybe not. I don't exactly know what the witches do. These little bell ringing women. I don't know if they apply buffs or they just shoot attacks at you. They're annoying, so when you come up here and you can kill them all. Alright, I'm gonna go back the way I came. 
and exit out through that stairwell. So I want to know if that one I knocked off survived. Falling damage is pretty lenient, so I have a feeling she did. You don't have to do this. Yeah, I can hear her. She's still alive. Oh, one reborn's doing some shit. He's doing whatever this is. Okay, now you're done. He has a lot of lock-on points. I don't exactly know what he's doing. He's throwing garbage at me. Like, here's some gross stuff. I'm gross. Kind of talks a little bit. Alright, now I can start fighting him for real. So hopefully I don't die against him because, honestly, I've never considered him to be all that hard. Mainly because you can just do this. He's kind of stamping at me a little bit. Okay, now I can back up and heal. God, knocked me out of my attack. Oh, I'm dead. He got me. I was in the vicinity of whatever that was. Some sort of big charge. He's not that hard, though. He got me, but you can see that I just kind of stood next to him and spammed R1, and I got him down to 25% health within, like, 40 seconds. I'm kind of not where I want to be right now, though. In fact, I might die. I'm kind of trapped. I'm dead. That was... Oh. Oh, okay. I see what happened. I didn't know this wall was to my right. There we go. Let's create some space. Full paper. Actually, let's go with the shorthand version. See, they shoot fireballs at me. That's kind of annoying. It's not the end of the world. Alright, just let him throw a little bit of a temper tantrum. Back up. Heal. That's what killed me. Avoided it. And he's dead. Yeah, one reborn's not great. He looks super cool, sort of, if you're into, like, big, gross space monster type things, which I am. He's kind of cool, but he's not all that great of a fight. He does do other things. He does, like, a big, uh, gaping dragon vomit attack that covers the arena. He kind of kind of run away from it, but you didn't really get to see any of that because he kind of sucks. Special material used in a holy chalice ritual. Special body parts collected by the healing church. What was the... Gr this gruesome bait used to lure. The additional right rotted offering beckons ungodly forces, normally terrifying things, but also worthy prey for a special hunt. Yellow backbone. All right, so some of these materials I'm getting now are used in the crazy chalice rituals shit, where you have like your basic ones, but if you want to create really hard chalice dungeons, you put in all kinds of like weird offerings and it adds additional challenges, but also, like, increases the, like, rarity and goodness of the things that you can find inside of those chalice dungeons. What's up, bro? So, uh, we had all sorts of these dudes in this room. These are all, uh, Mensis guys, or I guess they are, they're the remnants of the choir, I think. Because the choir is from Yahargul. So these fuckers were, I don't know, like, they're like a split off of the healing church. And their thing was like, we're going to wear cages on our heads and do crazy magic stuff. And this will let us get close to the great ones. Something. And they apparently conducted some sort of big, big magic thing. Let's inspect this mummy. And just touching it transports you to the nightmare. Which we've already been to. We went to the nightmare frontier. 
We also went into the nightmare version of Bergenworth, the lecture hall, which is where we're back. This time I'm on the top floor instead of the bottom. Anything else in this room? No. All right, so let's inspect the top floor. Actually, I should stop. I should go back to the Understream. I have 76,000 blood echoes on me. Gainhurst summons an old blood-stained summons inviting an honored guest to the forsaken castle Kanehurst. Rather baffling, bafflingly, it is addressed to you. Do not hesitate. The sage coach leaves from Hemwick Crossing. So this is Hemwick Crossing, and I think it's this exact shining, whatever this is, obelisk. If I approach it, there we go. Here it comes, a magic stagecoach, complete with horses. Those horses look like shit. They were clearly modeled to be dead, though. Like those are like the exact same models as the ones we've been finding on the ground. They're just like let's animate them and make it to where they pull this carriage. Oh, and they're kind of alive. I wonder what would happen if I swung at them. They, God, they are gross. I would not want to swing at them. I need them. Or that stagecoach. I don't know what's up with this camera angle. It looks like someone's watching us, but I don't know who would be. Just a mysterious camera angle. Now you see that big structure off in the distance on that ridge. That's Castle Kanehurst. See, like we're 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 in the air right now. We are flying. It's not real. <laughs> are they gonna show that in the camera angle? Because it's bullshit. Like there, there's no way we're on a road. <laughs> we're basically eating it through the sky. There's Kanehurst. This place rocks. That's kind of the thumbnail. Yeah, the thumbnail is not actually Yarnum that I've been using. It is Gainers. But it's not quite this camera angle. I got insight for showing up here. The horses are dead. <laughs> they are just gone. We have entered Iceland. How we got here, no one knows. Don't worry about it. I wonder, I think you can technically see. Yeah, that's technically Yarnum in the distance. That's the big clock tower. God, I love this place. This is my favorite area of the game. It's tough though. Tough boss at the end of it. Oh, it's so good. This is just, this is Castlevania porn. This is where they're like, we're going to do a Castlevania thing. So there's a lamp for you. Vampire killer starts playing when you walk in here. It's so cool. So the thing about this courtyard, you see there's some movement going on. I don't, I don't know if we're going to get a good look at any of them. There's like a big mosquito enemy or a flea or a tick or something. It's a big bloodsucker. And that enemy sucks. That enemy is like bullshit. It's way too hard. So I'm not going to actually fight one of them. I'm going to make a run to go obtain. Here it comes. There is an item hidden all the way in this like little valley. I don't think it's a good item, but we're going to go get it. And there's snakes. <laughs> Fuck these snakes. It's a stupid blood shimstone. So it's just Fred Durst out of here. If I roll back to the top. Okay. Let's see, we got some cool statues of people. All right. There's our blood sucker. Yeah, this enemy's garbage. And I think From Software realized that enemy's bullshit because it reappears in the DLC. Super nerfed. It's not the exact same version as what this one is. And it's not so much that it's like know necessarily like a weaker variant or like at a lower level it's just like it has i think it has a different move set it's completely nerfed it's like a different enemy altogether but it looks the same 
they realize like the, the ones we put at Kanehurst are kind of garbage. <laughs> they are not worth fighting. Just gonna pick this up. This numbing mist. All right. I'm getting dangerously close. Yeah, here they come. So there's our destination. There might be another item or two to the outside. It's not important. Please open door. Please open. Please open. Please open. Please open. Please open. Oh, thank you. Uh, I don't think you can come in here. Yeah, you're just going to jump around. This place is rad. This place is super rad. We got guys or girls or whatever that are scrubbing the floor. They're servants. They'll leave you alone for the most part. At least these ones will. A real enemy. Can find it. Oh, let's pick this up. I think this is a weapon. I think this is like the gun sword or something. <laughs> I'm not even going to try to pronounce that. Or, well, I'll try. Reiter Palash or something. Probably shouldn't stand here. I don't think I'm safe. This picking this item up might do. Bad man's knowledge. There she is. They're ghosts in this room. That's what these crying women are. They're ghosts. There's a bunch of them, too. Oh, there's one. Here. They do hit hard if you let them get you. There's a bunch of them. Look, there's two more in the middle. Well, these guys don't like it. They're not into it. They're more upstairs. And yeah, the servants are surprisingly docile. This front area is something that would be in a trails game. It looks like Lohengrin, sort of, but way fancier. Much more hyper-realistic. Oh, that was a good look that time, Adam. Let's see if I can get a better look at her. Turn around and face me. I think their throats are slit. Yeah, they have blood coming out of the front of their necks. Try not to hit this guy. I do think they retaliate if you hit them. And then later we'll find some that are hostile. All right, no more crying. Oh, no, wait, there's one more. There she is. Two more, Jesus Christ. There's so many of them. And for some reason, there's a ledge here that you can fall down. Wondrous hidden path. There's literally no point to this. All right, how many are gonna be in this room? There's one behind me. Kind of hard to know where they spawn from sometimes. Bet there are more. Is this? Really don't remember. Oh, it's the noble dress. <laughs> Actually, I should stop and read that weapon and the dress. That's quick silver bullets. You are still here. Let's 
Let's see, I don't hear anymore. Oh, no, that's a phantom. That's another thing that'll throw you off. Fancy paintings of fancy people. As far as I know, none of these are like characters. Unless, well, one of them could be. Like, that woman up there could be a character. Alright, let's read the stuff. First, the weapon. The Reiter Palash. I don't even know if that's close. Weapon wielded by the Knights of Canehurst. Combines an elegant knight's sword with the peculiar firearm wielded by the Canehurst Order. The old nobles, longtime imbibers of blood, are no strangers to the sanguine plague, and the disposal of beasts was a discreet task left to their servants, or knights as they were called, for the sake of appearances. I want to put this thing on. Take a look at it. It is, uh, well, it scales a little bit with everything. It is mainly a skill weapon, but it does take a little bit of blood tinge, a little bit of arcane as well. I'm surprised it takes arcane. Let's see how it, yeah, it's a rapier. It does do a cool slash though. I actually like it, it's a pretty cool weapon. Come on, let's uh, fucking A. <laughs> it's a wrong game. Transformation is L1. So I think that cocked it. There we go. Yeah, you can fire bullets from this thing. I don't know why you'd want to, but okay. Well, I guess if uh, if you go with like something crazy on your left hand, you can still have a gun in your right hand. I know that there's a uh, well. For one, there's that magic shield we've seen once before. There's some other things I could think of that you might want to have in your left hand instead. Also the dress, the dress, which I could totally wear. Damn it, Austin's here. Now I'm gonna start playing better. Look at, look at this. Put on a dress just for your birthday. You miss me die a bunch embarrassingly. I got fucking killed by, what's his face? One reborn, twice. A finely tailored, Bordeaux dress. Worn by the nobles of the Canehurst bloodline that traces back to the Forsaken Castle Canehurst. So if you're observant, you just learned like really important information just by looking at this thing. Also, I've been wearing the uh, second hunter garb. This is the one that uh, was on that dead body in Cathedral Ward over by the Amygdala that grabs you and sends you to the DLC. So the important lore about the noble dress is not what it said, but what it looks like. We've already seen that dress before, and it's on, what's her name? Poor bitch. Ariana? Is that her name? One woman that I sent to the chapel. So it suggests that she's from Canehurst. Or at least like Canehurst lineage or something. Where did you go? Oh, there you are. <laughs> I heard you. Gargoyles, we got gargoyles. Why wouldn't we have gargoyles? Look at where we are. And there's another one. Is there nothing up here? No, wait, there's this item. The chunk. What just died? Wasn't him, was it? Did he die? Did he like freak out and go over this cliff? I guess so. I don't hear or see him anywhere. That kind of looks like you can land on it, but you super can't. I bet that's what this asshole did. Oh no, he's fighting something. Oh. <laughs> Always fun. Let's see what these people did. Whoa, shit. <laughs> Beware of sneak attack. Oh, God. I love these guys. Ear trap. So I would like to see how you died. 
Uh, <laughs> oh, that they, they have a grab attack. He jumped on his head. Hey, you shit fucker. You and your lame ass Ludwig's holy blade. Seduction is effective. So here we have one of those servant dudes. He's hostile though. He's, he wants a fight. He's got a rapier. They are tougher than they look. They're really fast. I'm dead. <laughs> oh, and I didn't open a shortcut yet. He picked up my echoes, which is weird because it means he passed through like this side of the hallway. I didn't die over there. Guess what? <laughs> Whips better than your rapier. All right, let's see how close I was to that shortcut. I think I was literally a room away. Is it in here? And sure enough, it's right fucking there. So I'm just gonna step on it and back off. Let me get this first. This is a weird item. This is the vile blood register. Back out and go over here. Let's look at this key item, maybe. Nope, must be under normal. There it is. A register listing all known vile bloods. Red leather record of the vile bloods loyal to the covenant of Annalise, queen of the vile bloods at Canehurst Castle. Record of the vile bloods, blood lusting hunters who seek blood dregs of their prey kept throughout the ages. Note, online use only, cannot use offline. This is a stupid online item. It's basically, I don't even know what it does. Let's try to use it. I think it just shows you the people who uh, have the, like, Kanehurst Covenant thing equipped and who've offered dregs. So Prince here has offered 37,000 of them. So yeah, who cares? That might be legit, it could be cheating, who knows? This is a great trap. Great trap. Ah, uh, that hunter must have uh, already taken care of this trap. There are dudes here. They are so well hidden. Plain sight. I love this trap. It's like my favorite one in the entire game. Executioner stuff. This is uh this is Alfred's attire. He's been wearing this the entire time, and we didn't know what it was. He's technically an executioner, which is like a type of a church hunter. Hunter Ligarius. Attire worn by the band of executioners commanded by the martyr Ligarius. Later became the basis for all church attire with its heavy draping of holy shawl. As the great Ligarius once said, acts of goodness are not always wise, and acts of evil are not always foolish, but regardless, we shall always strive to be good. So you can cosplay as your boy Alfred if you're into him. There is one thing missing. You see that we did not get a helm piece and all that. Maybe we'll get it later. There's like a million ghosts in this fucking room. Ah, darn it. Got it back. It's all good. All right, that's like the first half of the room. Okay, now the annoying shit starts. There's a guy up there with the candelabra who's like the rapier guy I killed. He just shoots blow darts at me. Also, that's not what just ha I, this brand I'm wearing is not from that. That was from that scream. I don't exactly know what the fuck this thing does. I think it's like the Calamite shit in Dark Souls. I think I take double damage, maybe. 
I've played this game several times. I'm still not sure what that does. Through these chairs, see that blow dart go by. It's so annoying. It barely does damage. It's just annoying. Fuck it, son of a bitch. This one did nothing for some reason. You are so annoying. Oh. Did I miss anything? Oh, I think there's like one trick. I think find this. Yeah, and <laughs> it lets you get over this table and open this chest. Which is, is this what I want? Yeah, it's the Evelyn. This is my jam. This is the one I've been waiting to get. Special pistol used by Kanehurst Knights. The Evelyn uses Quicksilver bullets just as any workshop firearm. The Kanehurst variant relies more on blood tinge. Lovingly named after a woman and graced with an intri intricate design, Evelyn's were adorned by Kanehurst Knights. It is a pistol but a really good pistol. It scales with blood tinge like crazy. This thing can do serious damage. Love it. This is like why I grinded up blood tinge actually. So this thing's gonna be getting like the full treatment. I'm gonna super upgrade it. All right, four of these guys. blowing darts at me from across. Okay, these ones are doing damage for some reason. Oh, <laughs> I was like, where is he? Go around this way. I see you. Fucker. Hello. I don't know where you spawned from. Might be another one. Yeah. Two others. God, there's so many of them. Oh, I lock on. They really don't like the whip. <laughs> ah, there's my chunk. All right, our way out is actually this window. Move from like all the way over at that tower. Get out of here, bro. Let's see, there's a secret way over there. I think I can do this room first.
Ah, the headless variant, right? No, not yet. <laughs> I spoiled it. Eventually, there are headless versions of these girls. There it is. That's a headless one. I don't know what the difference is. Well, I guess that these ones just scream. Oh, they do this. Which didn't help much because she was the only thing next to me. Yeah, because the headless ones can't hold a knife or dagger or whatever that is. So yeah, they work in tandems, I guess. They're also weaker. That did a lot. <laughs> so that's what they're for. What do we got? This might be uh, some fancy Kanehurst stuff. And no, that's the executioner glove. What does that do? Yeah, this is a attack item. One of the secret treasures hidden in Kanehurst. Gloves of an executioner from a faraway land. Passed from executioner father to executioner son. These gloves can be used to summon wrathful spirits of the past by smearing them with blood. It's said that the nobles found immeasurable delight in the dances of these eventual specters. Uh, oh, I think I know what that does. I know what attack that is. See. This might be what I was thinking of, though. Yeah, we got fancy knight stuff. So you can be a Kanehurst asshole. Essentially the male equivalent of the dress. Attire of the Knights of Kanehurst, a regal piece graced by intricate gold work. The Kanehurst way is a mix of nostalgia and bombast. They take great pride even in the blood-stained corpses of beasts that they leave behind, confident that they will stand as examples of decadent art. You can be a real asshole and wear that. That's for your, like, Alucard cosplay build. What was this? Was this Quicksilver Bullets? Yeah. I think I got everything in this room. Right, back out the way we came. Here's our path forward. Oh shit. Okay, that's actually the path forward, but you can keep going over here. There's an item up there. Um, oh, there he is. <laughs> I like how he just like clips through the ground he was standing on. A little pillar. In cold blood, very helpful. It's a very nice big blood echo thing. And see, there's really nothing else around this place. An island it's a, and a big lake. This is a little reminiscent of Van Orlando, though. Just because you're climbing on bullshit on the outside to like enter windows. breaking your way into this castle instead of going through the normal route. All right, so this opened up to that big room that it cleared out. Shortcut on the far end. Oh, right. This is the wrong way. I forgot what I did when I opened that bookcase. There's a ladder attached to the bookcase, and this lets you progress. Anything up here with me? Not recall. Warm blood gemstone. Nothing but runes here. I think there's a bonus buddy somewhere. That's the way out. 
He's on the far side. You go all the way over here to find him. Pretty sure he has chunks. So you get stamina back. Where's this lighting coming from? No idea. There he is, though. Thank you. careful. I'm definitely on the verge of wasting like 50,000 blood echoes. There should be some more gargoyle boys up here. Oh, this one's mean. He has red eyes, which I don't know what that means. Other than possibly killing me. Just lame it out. Is there another one? Maybe one like jumps up from somewhere. Yeah, 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 I can hear you. Oh, shit. <laughs> yeah, of course that's a trap. Knight's wig to complete your little asshole knight set. You have a stupid ponytail. Which isn't real, I guess. It's not your ponytail. You just put it on. This is actually the way forward. I like how they put this item here just for you to know. All right, I got 50,000 or 57,000 echoes on me and 16 blood vials. Time for this to go very po uh, poorly. I think there's an item. Yeah, there is. I had one. Oh, yeah. <laughs> They're like, you're probably going to need this, fucker. <laughs> That's a great item to put here. Oh, here's the boss. This boss is a piece of shit. He's super cool, though. I like that he has a scythe. So he's kind of like death, but not really. And I just make that comparison because of Castlevania. He is Martyr Ligarius. This is Alfred's boy. This is Senpai. He's tough. He's the hard boss. <laughs> Look how much damage that did. Running into his like, most basic attack. But he does this annoying shit for a long time. He doesn't like you getting next to him, so he places like a bomb. That thing. Oh, Placed two of them that time. I guess I really made him mad. He does this crap where he sends like a big. I don't even know what to call that. Now, despite the fact that we are on a big rooftop and you can super fall off of it. He can't fall off of it. They were smart enough to make sure that wouldn't happen. He traded. Okay, he's gonna do a big AoE. Boom. Ah, it still hit me. God damn, that thing's way too big. Interface 2. I should go destroy the sword. He almost landed on me. That would have been bad. He went over me. You can repost him. Which I did, but he hit me. We traded. 
I'm dead. That wasn't a terrible first round, but... Dead. Oh, should have backed up twice. Oh, that was a better run. Oh, fucker. I deserve that. Way too slow. Oh, I got him too. <laughs> not that time. You're not getting out of it. Oh, now you're going to back up, huh? I thought it was on the border bus. You're done. Oh, that's easy mode. Oh, wait, where's the thing? Here? Where is it? There it is. Crown of illusions. And a pointless lamp. Literally pointless. Let's look at this thing. All the way at the bottom? Did I pass it? Now there it is. One of the precious secrets of Kanehurst. The old king's crown is said to reveal illusions. Expose a mirage that hides a secret. This thing looks like crap, by the way. Looks really dumb. And so Lagarius donned the crown of his own volition, determined to prevent a single soul from stumbling upon the vile secret. What visions did he see sitting serenely upon his new throne? Alright, time to go to Burger King on the crown. Character looks like such a jackass in this scene. Wearing the crown. I actually don't understand the lore behind like what why Ligarius did this. He's a martyr, and he was like, you know what? Fuck my executioner boys. I'm gonna I'm gonna don the crown and I'm gonna guard this entrance to the uh the vile blood throne. But I don't know why he did it. It's one of those pieces of Bloodborne story that I never quite understood. Because he, like, the Kanehurst, the B vile bloods are supposed to be, like, the sworn enemies of the executioners. So, I don't entirely get it. Unless it, like, it said it was of his own volition. It's not like he got, you know, punked into doing it. Look at this dope shit. Yeah. Heights on horses. Suddenly you're playing a different game. No mercy for special items. Got tons of statues. Got insight for walking in this room. But here lieth our throne. Near the forest. Or get thee gone. I like that line. Or get thee gone. See, that's why that other lamp is pointless, because there's one in this room. I guess it's for idiots who don't figure out the puzzle of putting on the stupid crown. Unopened summons. So this is like what we already got. This is for someone else. Where is it? Key items. There we go. Old unopened summons. A, an old sealed summons, like the first of its kind, it is an invitation to Kanehurst, but for whom it is not known, as it lacks an address C. Alright, what's up, girl? Actually, so this is the Vile Blood Queen. 
Uh, she will not talk to you if you get up in her face because she's royalty. She's also wearing a big steel helm, so you can't see her face. Let's see, where is it? It's, I guess it's, yeah, it must be on the special mark. You kneel in front of her. Visitor. Moon-scented hunter. I am Annalise, queen of Castle Canehurst. <laughs> Ruler of the vile bloods and sworn enemy of the church. Yet our people are murdered and we are prisoner to this wretched mask. What is it thou art in search of? I think you're super dope. Well, well. An odd hunter thou art indeed. We've tired of these piteous nights. Share in our plight and take oath against the church. If thou wouldst this path walk, I prithee partake of my rotted blood. Very well. Drink deep of our blood. Feel the spreading corruption burn. <laughs> now, thou art too a vile blood. We too, the very last on this earth. Corruption and the Canehurst badge. That's what I really wanted. And respect. And you can offer her blood drags. That's the covenant item. All right, thanks, Annalise. What's her name, right? Let's look at that stuff. Secret symbol left by Carol Runesmith of Bergenworth, which is really weird when you think about it. It's like, why did Carol make this for the vile bloods? Several runes contain a nuance of blood, including the rune of corruption associated with the oath of the corrupt. Pledgers to this oath are Canehurst vile bloods, hunters of blood, who find dregs for their queen in cold blood, particularly in that of hunters. Yet the corrupt are heretics in the eyes of the church, and thus subject to the wrath of the executioners. Which really doesn't mean a whole lot. I mean, you've established that the church sucks, so anyone like the church has enemies or, you know, it's like, who cares? It's not like you guys have any right to talk. So this thing gives you continuous healing near death, plus one. But it heals you a little bit if you're about to die. It's not that great. It's just for this game's really terrible PvP system. If you want to fight executioners, which we don't have yet, you can get the executioner thing. And you can kill executioners and whoever else in PvP. And offer up blood drags and be like that prince dude who has 37,000 of them. What I really care about is uh, this, the Canehurst badge. Badge of the Royal Guards of Canehurst, loyal guardians of the Vile Blood Queen Annalise. The Vile Bloods are hunters of blood and the hunt prey as they search for blood dregs. The hunter who joins them is faced with a decision to merely borrow their strength or to become one of them, heart and soul. I will be doing the former. <laughs> I will be taking some of the things that badge offers me. <laughs> 